You guys have been truly wonderful. This is the, uh, this is the last thing I will say. Uh, then I just leave. This will be the last thing I say. <laughs> no, not really. It's my favorite thing to talk about. We save it for the end. People always get mad about telemarketers. I don't understand why. Whenever I go home and we get a telemarketer during dinner or whatever, my dad will answer the phone and be like, God, ah, ah, telemarketer, trying to eat my corn, hangs up so mad, vein in his neck. Guys, listen to me. Telemarketers are a gift from the Lord. Do you understand? It's an opportunity for joy in your life. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. They can't hang up. Do you feel that? That's the feeling of your life getting better right now. If you don't swear or threaten them, it's their job to listen to whatever you have to say. What an opportunity. I do it all the time. This is a true story. I answered my phone. I saw on the caller ID that it was a telemarketer. I decided to have a little fun, cash some happy checks, live my life. I answered the phone. I went, hello? I can feel some of you wanting that to be funnier, but this is a true story. And remember, no one was even there with me. I was like, this is gonna be great. Hello? I was like, hi, is Peter Holmes there? I'm like, this is she. I'm in the bathtub, scrub it up dub. Screw it up, dub. I'm a downstairs, downstairs. Say whatever you want. I threw up in my mouth. Should I swallow it? Press one. <laughs> Anything you want. Guys, like, well, I'm calling from Chase Bank. I'm like, ooh, money, money, money. Money, money, money. To the money song for 10 minutes, not a real song. <laughs> then I said the word diarrhea 20 times in a row. Guys, I'm 33, the age of the Lord. I said diarrhea 20 times in a row. Never the same way twice. Just listening to him nose breathe on the other end, waiting for his turn to speak. Finally, I run out of wind. I can't say diarrhea any longer. And the guy gets a chance to talk and he's like. Well. Mrs. Holmes. I'm calling to let you know that your credit card has been stolen. <laughs> this is a true story. What do you do? I couldn't stop the voice on a dime. I had to like slowly work my way out of the voice over 10 minutes. I was like, oh no. Did they buy anything expensive? Or what do we do? Do we, do we put a hold on that account? Is that what we... Do we put a freeze on those funds? Thank you so much for the early alert, Chase. I cannot afford to have this happening right now. Thank you sincerely. Goodbye! <laughs> awesome, thank you so much!